So Kevin Holland is coming out of early retirement to fight Stephen Wonderboy Thompson in December, I believe, um, which I find quite interesting because he's literally just retired two weeks ago and now he's unretired right now. So, <laughs> Mark, why do you think someone like Kevin Holland would even retire in the first place because he's so young. He's literally in the prime of his career. He's not even in his prime yet. You know, he's still got, you know, he's still got a lot of training to do and really build up. So why do you think he'd retire? I think it was, it was just a ploy because, you know, he's, he's becoming a, a household name almost, uh, you know, the UFC fans and after being decimated by Hamza, but I mean, we all expected that to happen though, didn't we? But he helped yeah. save the card as well. And you know what Kevin Owens like to be as active as what he is, because you know he's he's more regular than a Kennedy funeral, you know. And now if I he's, he's definitely just he ain't gonna just flat out stop. Are you okay, yeah. what do you think? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I I agree somewhat, maybe not all of it, but somewhat. <laughs> but yeah, he. I don't know if it necessarily was a ploy. I think maybe he genuinely was contemplating where he is in his career because, <clears throat> you know, I assume he probably got paid really well for 279. You know, it's an undisclosed amount. We don't know. I mean, there's rumours floating around, but I don't believe half of those. And if you if you go in and you think, right, I want to be a champion, I am going to be a champion, and you go up against someone like Hamza Chamayev, who just ragdolls you, treats you like you're his little brother, and just beats you up. Like, what What did Kevin Holland have in that? He had nothing to offer. So really, he's really, really contemplating what his career is. And maybe he just thought, this isn't for me. But then, you know, it very emotional, very made a quick, rash decision. And I think, you know, when you're young, you are going to make rash decisions like that, right? Yeah, I think... Because the, the strange thing is, you know, like, Kevin might have just been... Let's say, for example, that he was just joking and all he did was put out a tweet. That's me, I'm retired. So I think he, a tweet can generate... You know, you look at this butterfly effect, it generates all this, even content, people doing videos on it and everything. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, but there's... Stephen Thompson's like, oh, actually, you know what? I don't fancy retirement anymore. I'll, I'll take my slippers off. Yeah. I'll open the curtains again, you know, I'll stop watching Last of the Summer Wine. <laughs> and I'm going to go and fight this world class kickboxer. Well, it's yeah. just, but it's going to be a great. I am looking forward to it though. Like in that sense, that is uh, almost like a bit of a a fan favorite super fight in a sense. Yeah, definitely. I think Kevin Holland versus Wonder Boy is a really, really good fight for Kevin Holland because in my sort of fantasy booking video, that's what I proposed for Lee Jing Liang. I thought, right, is help save this card. Is you know he's been robbed. Fighting someone like Wonder Boy really puts you up the card. And you know my prediction for who was going to fight him was wrong, but the the method behind it was right. It's it's someone who's really high rank. I think he's ranked six. So if Kevin Holland can get this win, that really puts him up in the rankings. You know he's in the top ten in the welterweight division, which he wanted to fire anyway because like he you know. He not had too much success in middleweight, and he said, "Right, I'm going to drop down and then I had to fight Hamza in a weight division he didn't want to fight in, and that someone he's not trained for." It so you riles know, you up that, doesn't it? The whole Hamza situation it really rinds you. <laughs> it really does, literally, because he nearly ruined a whole card, you know. And I don't want to mourn about Hamza too much because he's a good fighter, and I do enjoy watching him. But it's just not good enough, is it? So it's good that Dana's now rewarding these people who saved that card, you know. Um, and so if so, how do you think Kevin Holland will fare in this fight? Do you think he'll kind of run through Wonder Boy, or do you think Wonder Boy's a bit too seasoned for him? Uh, to, be, to be honest, I haven't really thought about the outcome much, just as I'm I'm excited for the actual fight itself, because you look at Stephen mm -hmm. Thompson's last ones, you know, he's like you said exactly then, he's a bit seasoned, uh, but he's a veteran, he's still real dangerous. But you look at, you know, his fight against Gilbert Burns. He couldn't really get going because of Gilbert's fighting style. Then he fought, you know, Bilal Muhammad and, you know, just having Bilal lie on you for 15 minutes. You can't really kick someone's head off, can you? But Kevin Holland isn't really a fan of wrestling anyway. And this isn't me just saying, oh, it's boring when they wrestle because we all know, well, we know that you know, that isn't <laughs> the case. But it just gives them both a chance to really showcase the skills because I've got a friend who despises watching Wonderboy because he watched one fight once, said he was boring. You are like, no, oh, no, I'm telling you that he's so good. He's so good. He's a masterclass to watch. Uh, so I think this is a really good fight for them both to showcase the skills, propel them both. I'm guessing that it's going to be a stand-up 
war, but we've been wrong before, you know. So what about you? Are you actually excited? Do you not? Do you have an early prediction, like some sort of fight outcome that you're thinking of? Oh, honestly, I'm not sure. You know, <clears throat> I'm excited to see, you know, a grizzled vet like Kevin Holland come out of retirement to fight this young up and comer in Wonderboy Thompson Lane. You know, I think that's such a really interesting thing. Um, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. jokes aside, I am interested to see how this fight plays out because I think you're right. I don't think there's going to be any grappling involved. This is going to be a stand up kickboxing match. And I think maybe Kevin Holland's just a bit too young, a bit too quick, and a bit too strong now for Wonderboy. I think Wonderboy in his prime would probably kill Holland, in all honesty. You know, I think he'd absolutely batter him. But I think now he's in his later stage of his career. He's likely, he's, you know, there's a good chance he's going to get caught because Kevin Holland has got some real, real knockout power. So, yeah, for early predictions, I'd say that's what's going to happen. Um, but honestly, you never know. I don't think I'd, I'd be as brash to go out with a prediction right now. No. Now it's just been announced. <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking forward to it, honestly. Uh, and I'm, I think rightly so, it's headlining as well. Because, uh, like you said, the both showcase the skills. I think you're right in the sense of, you know, Kevin Holland's younger. And I think, you know, he's, obviously his nickname is like, you know, Big Mouth sort of thing. But he can back all that up. Yeah, It's not as if he just goes in, talks to someone and then gets cleaned out, does he? No, exactly. Like... But. Yeah, well, apart from against Hamza, because I mean, like, even you know, even when he fought like, um, what's his name, uh, Marvin Vittori, mm. how can I forget Marvin Vittori? You know, mm. someone who's definitely a, a class above him, he still, you know, he still made it competitive. He didn't get ragdolled, you know. And so he is a really competitive fighter, and it's great that he backs it up with his big mouth. It's really fun, um, and I'm glad for him that he's getting such a high ranked opponent because, you know it can really start sliding him into that title picture. I mean, I'm not saying he's necessarily a title contender, but I think it'd be really interesting to see him up at that level. Um, but I do think that's all we've got time for. If you can like, comment, subscribe, it really does help us out.